God bless you and welcome to WME's The Path. We have a very special program today for you, and we have a very special guest here at WME Studios. We have a very good friend of mine and a pastor here in the Dallas area, Pastor Robert Summers from Mountain Creek Community Church. What a blessing to have you here in WME Studios. Well, Daniel, it's so good to be with you here in this wonderful work. I've known about it for years. I had no idea how big it was, but uh, thank you for the tour. And uh, I think we first met in a gathering called Oración Explosiva. Yes, yes, many and years ago. Daniel Pastor. Aleman introduced us. Yes, yes. And Daniel is now the mayor of uh, Mesquite, Texas. Wow, wow. Uh, one of the big suburbs of Dallas. But so good to be with you here. It's good to have you, Pastor. And I know, Pastor, for many years, uh, you've worked with, with not only the church there in Duncanville, but you've worked with many uh, pastors and many leaders and many movements where God, where you've seen God do many great things and, and you've seen God work in a mighty way. And we're looking at a scripture, Pastor, that you gave me. And it's a very powerful scripture. It's in Philippians 1.28. It says, and in nothing, uh, 127, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh -huh. It says, only let your conversation be as it becometh of the gospel of Christ, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs that ye stand fast in one spirit with one mind striving together for the faith of the gospel. We Amen. need unity today, Pastor. Can you oh, the, oh, share yes, on this? Oh, yes, sure. And that's one of my favorite passages because the word striving together, actually it's a Greek word, sun athleo, where we get the word athletes, athletic. He's a real athlete. Uh, we get that word from that term there, striving together. It, it simply means wrestling together, like contention in a, an arena before a crowd of people striving together, like tag team wrestling. Wow. And uh, it means a certain kind of togetherness. The scripture uses togetherness quite a bit in Paul's writings, but this was a little bit different. And it means striving together, fighting together, fighting. Uh, hanging in there together. Yes. And that's meant a lot to me over the years. I grew up in teamwork. I grew up in a big family. And of course, big family, we had teamwork. But I grew up in bands. I, I grew up playing football, athletics, running track, playing basketball, and uh, singing in choir. So everything I was doing, even in Boy Scouts, it was part of a of a team, and I see you've got a great team here, World Missionary Evangelism, and uh, I want to commend you for, for that. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, we have a great team at our church. We couldn't be doing what we're doing there, 100 acres here in Dallas. Uh, wow. It's all get, being used all the time, and we've got a, yes. a good team. And it comes back, Pastor, to working together, to building each other up. I believe the scripture says that iron sharpens iron. Yes. And, and for a church, for a ministry to, to be successful, uh, we have to learn to depend on each other, striving together. Absolutely, Daniel. That's very powerful, Pastor. Now, Daniel, when I was just a, a young schoolboy, had a basketball goal in my backyard, and I was a real standout player, but it was just backyard, <laughs> and it was fantasy. You know, there were a lot of times I drove in and made a layup at, as the buzzer sounded and won the game, won the tournament. Wow. I was the star of the tournament, but it wasn't real. And when I got older, I joined a real team and I had to work out with a real team. I had to practice, 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 bringing that ball down court, passing it around, seeing somebody who's hoping for a shot, shooting that ball over to him, listening to the coach, getting uh, a play called in from the bench, watching the bench, because the coach is giving us signals over there. He's watching everything. And so that was totally different. I learned teamwork. In my backyard, I was a star. Well, I was hardly ever a star in the team. I played on teams that won. Uh, I was high score man only once. I can remember in my high school career. Uh, and, uh, but in my backyard, I was a solo player. It was all fantasy. And believers need to be part of a team because that's the key to receiving the promises of faith. We need more than faith. Yes, we need to believe, but become part of a team. We could never be doing what we're doing in Dallas if we didn't have a good team. 
So true, Pastor. And so many times, how many pastors have we seen that uh, they, they lead, the, lead this worship? They preach the sermon. They oh, take up the offering. Right. And they tire out. They burn out. Or believers sure. that are, are uh, you know, they, they're, they're, they're with the mindset, well, I can do it all my own. I don't need anybody else. I don't need anybody's assistance. Well, we were just talking about one of my assistants a moment ago, Aaron. There are things that Aaron does very well that I, I just couldn't do. Wow. In fact, he was a, a Hyatt Hotel banquet manager before he came to us traveled with his brother Mark, as you know, Mark Gonzalez. And uh, we have regular gatherings with meals out there. That's part of our ministry. And a lot of other ministries use our facilities and they have meals and they set up for it. Well, that's something that Aaron can do very well. He does a lot of other things that are ministry things from the platform, but he does that very well. And I don't have to worry about it. I can just walk in there and it's ready to go. Praise God. Praise God. And I think, Pastor, many times we, we, carry, we carry loads. We carry oh, burdens yes. in, in churches, in, in ministry. That, uh, and we really aren't made. To, we're made to work as a team. We're made to work together, Pastor. Uh, that's what it's all about. It's about relationships. If church could be boiled down to one word, I would say, relationships, team, coming together. Forsake not the gathering of yourselves together, so much more as we see the day of the Lord approaching. Yes, Amen. we really need each other. And that's why we're here for you today. That's why we have this 1-800 number so you can call us and you can connect with us. We love you. Jesus loves you. God has a plan and a purpose for your life. Yes, he here does. Here at WME, we care about you. And we want you to help us. Let's work together. Let's build the kingdom together. Let's go around the world with those water wells. Let's go around the world with our Food for Hunger programs. Let's go around the world with disaster relief. And all in the name of Jesus Christ, all to lift up the name of the Lord. God bless you. We will be coming back with a part two on teamwork. So don't you go anywhere. Stay with us and we'll be back with part two with Pastor Summers. God bless. At the heart of everything World Missionary Evangelism does is reaching out and saving the lost through sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. We do this through native missionaries. Right now, we have many native missionaries who need sponsors. That's right, partners just like you, who will help them become full-time workers for Christ. That provides this native missionary with the ability to give his life full-time to gospel outreach. We also need Bible, and that allows us to share the word with those we reach in the mission field. The evangelism in World Missionary Evangelism is not just a part of our name. It defines our mission, our focus, and is at the heart of everything we do.